Hello, this is Rob here from robcubbon.com. I want to show you how you add subheadings in your WordPress posts. Now, subheadings are really important. They break up the post visually and they've got a slight SEO benefit. H2 tags and H3 tags are considered by Google to be more important. So it gives Google a better idea of what the blog post's about. And if you don't understand H2 and H3 tags, I'll be explaining that later. But firstly, I want to show you how to add a subheading to your WordPress post. So here is mine. And let's say I want to put a subheading here after this paragraph. So I've done a return and now I'm going to type in subheading and I'm going to select it. You see at the top here you have a row of icons which do several formatting jobs like bold, italicized, bullet points and that sort of thing. If you go to the last one here and click it, you'll see another line of icons which give you more formatting tools. And in this drop down here, you need to select heading two. And that is a subheading which gives it the H2 tag. So if you go into text here, you'll see that the subheading there is with H2s. I can just add as many paragraph breaks there as I want. It doesn't matter in the text mode. Back here, it doesn't make any difference to the visual mode. So let's look and see how it is in our preview. So we'll save draft and now we'll click preview. So there you can see our first paragraph and the subheading. Now in this post I have subheadings here and as you can see I have a sub subheading. So a heading that's not as important as the H2 and it's going to be H3. To do that it's very simple. Same again we'll just select some text and give it heading three, formatting style, save and preview. And there you see the two styles. The heading of the post is H1 and in most WordPress themes, the headings will be H1. There is an H2 and there is an H3. We go back to the text or the HTML mode. You can see the subheads there, the first one H2 and the second one H3. So I hope that helps. I would very much advise all of you to put in subheadings in all of your posts because it will benefit your visitors and your SEO. I hope you enjoyed that. This has been Rob from robcubbon.com. Goodbye.